Hi everyone, my name is Miss B. Hanley, and today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things to use in the classroom, clickers. Clickers is an online platform that allows teachers to create quizzes, surveys, and review data. Each student is given a card, just like this one, that has a unique visual code on it. The code has four sides, each with a letter associated with that side, A, B, C, and D. The teacher will scan the codes with their phone using the Plickers app to record and score student answers. Online, you don't necessarily have to use the cards, but students are given a unique class link to complete the quiz online live with the teacher. Students are given time to answer through their quiz link and the Plickers platform will record and score their answers as well. So in order to set up Plickers, you have to create an account on the Plickers website. If you have used a quizzing or testing platform in the past, you will notice that Plickers website is very similar to those websites. You will need an email address in order to create an account. Once you do that, you'll be given access to a place for you to build content in a library, as well as a place for you to create new classes. You'll want to name the class, uh, either by class period or by what subject you teach, and then you'll be able to add students. Adding students is really easy. You can type them in manually, but Plickers makes it really easy for you to just copy and paste them from your roster into the website. Um, it will take first or last name order. It really doesn't matter as long as you separate them by a comma. Once you've input the students' names, it's really simple to assign them a number. And um, that number is going to correspond with the cards that you get in order to pass them out in class. So that way each student's code is specific to just them. You can organize them by first name or last name, however you want um, to distribute the cards in your classroom. You won't need to assign students numbers if you're using it as an e-learning class. All you need to do is select the button on each individual class to turn on the e-learning option for each class. This will then give you the opportunity to select um, whether or not your students are obviously old enough to use the Quick Clickers platform online, use a computer, but also um, generate individual links for each student so that they can get the link and um, take the quiz live with you on a computer at home. Building quizzes in the Plickers website is very easy. You can import questions from other quizzes or tests that you've used in the past, and you can also choose from their pre-made content on their website. Either way, you just select Add to Queue for the particular class you want to play that quiz or survey with, and then you click Play Now when the class is ready, you've passed out the cards, and the class is ready to play the quiz with you. Once you have all of that set up, you play them with your class. Something that is really important to do is to make sure that you instruct students on how to use Plickers and what is expected of them when they're taking a quiz with these Plickers. And I just realized I forgot to mention this, you can print out the Plickers cards for free and laminate them yourself if you want to save a few dollars. You can also purchase the cards as a pre-laminated pack on Amazon.com. In the classroom, you wanna make sure you're telling your students to hold their card with their answer at the top. If they want to change their answer in the middle of you scanning their codes, all they have to do is turn their card so that the new answer is at the top and their answer will change. Something else that's really important for students, to, uh, for students in the classroom who are using clickers is to not cover the code with any part of their finger. It can be really hard for your phone to read if the code is covered up in any way. You also wanna make sure you tell students not to bend the cards. It can create um, damage on the cards as well as a slight glare, which you're seeing here now. You can also tell students that their names will appear on the screen in blue when their answer has been recorded so that they know they can put their answer down and that their answer has been scored. Online students may have a little bit different experience with Plickers. All they have to do is click the link that is sent to them from their teacher and then wait for the teacher to start the quiz. That students online can take the quiz live with you. So it allows you to answer questions for them as they go along. Online students will be given a certain amount of time to answer questions for the online quiz. 
What are the benefits of using clickers over other kinds of quiz platforms? Well, I find clickers to be really quick and easy. Students really love the interaction with the cards and me scanning them. Additionally, they love seeing how other students have responded to the question, um, especially if they don't know the answer and they want to jump on the bandwagon with the majority of students. It is a really simple, easy setup. I found that the Plickers website is very, very easy to use. It's very similar to a lot of other educational platforms out there, and it has an immense amount of data that is able to be looked at after you've given the quizzes in a very um, condensed and accessible way, which does make it really easy if you're trying to transition scores from the Plickers website into your gradebook. They make that really simple. The other thing that's great about Plickers is they have pre-made content, some by yours truly, some by other teachers around the world that have um, created Plickers quizzes, surveys about different subject areas, and they have a growing library of these Plickers quizzes that they're offering to teachers. So if you don't want to get into making your own questions and making your own answer sets, you can just choose one of the ones that are already available on the Plickers website. I think with the Plickers free version, you can make a quiz with up to five questions for free. If you get the pro version, it's an unlimited amount of questions that you can put within your quiz. Um, and if you use the Plickers pre-made content on their Discover feature, you'll find that there are some sets that go above that five question limit. So you are able to get more questions in there if you use the pre-made content through the Plickers website. It's also really easy to import questions and quizzes. So if you have another type of quiz or form that you're using for your quizzes right now and you wanted to convert them to a Plickers quiz, it actually makes it pretty easy. Additionally, they have a great export feature. So if you do have a student who's missing, who doesn't have technology at home, um, who doesn't get to take the quiz live with the rest of the class, the quizzes are really easy to print out and give to students on paper for those that miss on a specific day. It does not require personal technology. Students don't have to have their phones out. They All they have to have is a card and their answers in their brain uh, or your notes if you are allowing them to take notes during your quiz or survey. The other feature that Plickers added in recently due to COVID-19 and blended learning classrooms was the online option, which I think is a huge benefit for teachers who have students both in the classroom and online, or if you just have students online and you wanna share this with them. I think that they really did a good job of integrating that their Plickers experience in the classroom with the Plickers experience online. You can actually get these materials for free. They allow you to download the cards for free from their website and you can laminate them, print them out and laminate them yourself for your classes. However, you can also go online to Amazon and buy a pack of 30 to 40 cards for about $20. It's really inexpensive and the cards do last a very long time. This is not a paid partnership with Plickers. I am simply a teacher telling you about my experience with them. So it would be amiss if I didn't tell you the certain drawbacks to Plickers that there are. First up, you do need a good Wi-Fi connection at your school. You're gonna be using your phone as a teacher, which means you're going to be scanning their codes and getting their answers to appear on the screen um, or on the projector which does mean that if you don't have the best Wi-Fi connection at your school through your phone, there's going to be some lag. Sometimes I have experienced this myself when there have been cell phone outages or bad Wi-Fi connection at the school I was working at and it just made it really, really difficult to get through the quiz because the students and I were just waiting for the answers to appear, even though on my phone it had shown that they had already scanned. So a good Wi-Fi connection is necessary for the use of Plickers. The other downside that I would say is, is that the Cards do wear out over time. The cards that you purchase from the website do last a very long time. I've had these cards in particular for about four or five years and they are just now reaching the end of their life cycle with certain cards um, coming a little bit damaged just from kids using them over and over and again throughout the years. So if you do decide to use Plickers um, and you wanna print them out yourself, those for me, didn't last quite as long just because the laminate wasn't as tough and the cardstock wasn't as tough. So the ones that come from Amazon are a little bit nicer, a little bit more durable. If you do print them out yourselves, you're probably looking at maybe one to two years of them lasting, whereas the ones you buy online are probably four to five. I will say that the Plickers uh, platform is really not 
conducive for a larger summative or final test just because of the nature of how the Plickers quizzes work. I guess it would be a little bit easier to avoid things like cheating or sharing answers if you did all online, but students still find a way to share their answers with each other. Additionally, in class, students are looking at their partner, what their partners are showing or asking them what they showed. Um, the other thing about Plickers is that you can show a graph of what answers have been chosen. So it can make it a little bit difficult to get accurate student data about what they know. Um, I use Plickers in more of the sense of being able to see in real time what their initial answers are. I allow them to change it because grades, um, but also I like to spark a discussion with them, especially if I realize a lot of them aren't getting a certain topic. The way I use Plickers in the classrooms is not for summative assessments. It's usually for formative assessments where I wanna see what they know in that moment and if I am noticing a lot of them get an answer wrong, I know I need to go back to that question and go over those answers again with the students. The last thing that I would say can be a little bit difficult with clickers in the classroom is reading the question aloud to students and having them be able to see the questions. So depending on what your classroom is like and how well students can see the board, um, if you have a student who sits in the back who is not able to be up close to read all of the questions or all of the answers, it may mean that you are reading the questions and the answers aloud to students so that they can understand what they're answering. Um, this has been somewhat of a struggle for me. I mean, sometimes I have one or two kids who need me to read it aloud, but most of the time students are able to answer and they have their, their clicker cards up before I've even finished the question. So if you're not that type of teacher who is really engaged in the quizzing process, this platform may not be for you. All in all, I love Plickers. For me, the positives fully outweigh the cons. And honestly, I'd say 99% of my kids absolutely love this platform. They love doing quizzes like this. I think mainly they think that they get a little bit of freedom because they're able to talk about their answers and talk about the questions with each other, um, especially with me, as well as see what their peers are doing and what their peers are answering as well. Um, I, I really like it. The kids have a really fun time with it. I really enjoy being able to talk through questions with them, especially when you throw in a survey question at the end and it gets them starting on discussion because you really don't know how they're gonna answer sometimes. You know, sometimes they'll, they'll give you a straight up answer like, yes, this is definitely it. And then sometimes they will question whether or not those answers are legitimate and reliable. So sometimes it is really fun to be able to see how students interact with these and get to really get them talking about the topics that you're discussing in class. Plickers is probably one of my favorite platforms to use and the kids love it too. So I can't say no. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. I hope you try out Plickers in your classroom. If you do, please comment down below. Tell me what you think. Did you like it? Did you like using it? If not, what were some of your cons maybe I didn't mention in this video? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in class. Bye. Okay, so I forgot to say that I wanted to give a big shout out to all of my seventh graders this year who helped me make this video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for making this video with me. It was awesome. Have a great summer and I will see you next year. Bye.